Arsenal's Vlahovic backup plans as eye-watering £150 million transfer cost emerges. Arsenal are plotting a move to add a striker to their ranks in the January transfer window, but it is unclear exactly who that might be. Club captain Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is firmly out of favour and could be sold in the winter window, whilst Alexander Lacazette and Edin Kataya are both out of contract in the summer. Dusan Vlahovic has emerged as a top target for Mikel Arteta, but a move to land the in-demand Fiorentina striker will be far from easy. Reports have claimed that Vlahovic is ready to reject a move in the winter window and wait until the summer to decide his future. The Daily Mail also warned that Arsenal will have to commit an eye-watering pounds 150 million to complete a move. Have your say. Which striker should Arsenal sign in the January transfer window? Join the discussion in the comments section. They have been quoted a minimum £58 million transfer fee, plus he wants a wage of £160,000 per week after tax, equating to just over £300,000 per week. He is set to demand a five-year deal, whilst a player's camp will look for £15 million in fees, a figure balked out by some clubs who have shown interest. Whilst Arsenal have supposedly not been put off by the financial demands, Vlahovic is also keen to play Champions League football which they cannot currently offer. And as a result, there are backup plans on the table for Arteta in his search for a striker. According to The Athletic, Real Sociedad striker Alexander Isak is amongst the credible backup options on the table. The Gunners also have a known interest in Dominic Calvert-Lewin and could pursue a move for the Everton striker. However, Vlahovic, also wanted by Tottenham, is currently the no.1 target and Mikel Arteta this week suggested he will be back to pursue a move despite a hefty cost. When the Spaniard was specifically asked about Blahovic, he said, I think with the amount of things in the way that we want to evolve the squad, we have to maximize every window in many different ways and we are alert. Technical director Edu and his team are working very hard because we know exactly what we need to do and whether we can accomplish that in January or in the summer is a different question as it is related to other stuff. Again, if it is the right player and we can afford